Okay, so here's a video on how to do the special right triangles on Khan Academy. So we briefly reviewed this or learned it basically last week. So I just wanted to draw on the side here what this triangle is. So here I have 30 degrees and a 90 degree angle. So what is this angle? Well, if the angles inside of a triangle all add up to 180 degrees, right? We can subtract out the degrees we already have. So we have a 30 degree angle. So that leaves me with 150 degrees left to fill here because this 30 degree angle is already subtracted out of the 180. 150 minus 90 leaves me with 60 degrees of an angle. So that means that B this angle here must be 60 degrees. And that is because 30 plus 90 plus 60 equals 180 degrees. So that completes my triangle. So we know that this is a 30, 60, 90. So whenever we have a 30, 60, 90, we have determined that this is a special right triangle that lets us use certain ratios to solve for missing sides. So the first step is to always label the side across from your 30 as your x. All right, so now you'll notice that here in the Khan Academy assignment, it's labeled as x on the left side, right? The one that's next to the 30 here. What I want you guys to do with these problems is if there's a variable there, just put a question mark here. Okay, so here it says, how long is AC? So we're trying to find the side length AC. So it's this side here that we are trying to find. So let's just ignore that it said an x here because we use x as our little formula. You can even change it to a different variable like an a, m, b, whatever, right? But for now, I, I think a question mark will be just fine for this problem. Okay, so we're trying to find the side length a, c. So I know that I'm going to label the side across from 30 degrees as x. Okay, go and erase this stuff over here for a minute. All right, so this tells me that x, oops, x equals 6 times root 2, okay? Because they said that this side length was 6 root 2. So then what you have to do next is label the hypotenuse as 2x, okay? So the hypotenuse is always the one that's across from the right angle. That is your hypotenuse. This side is the hypotenuse. And the side that is missing here that we do not know, I mean, we don't know the hypotenuse either, uh, but the side that we're trying to find, we always want to label this side as x times root 3. Okay? And again, the hypotenuse was labeled 2x. So this side here is x times root 3, but we have to know what x is. Now, in this instance here, I don't need to worry about the 2x because I'm not asked what the side length a, b is. I'm asked what the side length AC is. Now, since I already know that this side length over here is 6 root 2, right? That's what X equals, so I can plug that in for X here. So I have 6 times root 2 and then still times the root 3. That's what this side length is going to be. So now we can simplify. You cannot do anything with this 6 here because it's not underneath the radical sign. So this just equals 6, but root 2 times root 3 is root 6. So that missing blue side of side length AC is 6 root 6. And you can see that right here as one of our answer choices. So pause the video if you need to get all this down because I'm about to move on. So I should be able to select D as my answer. And there we go. You can always see a step-by-step -step solution as well to see how Khan Academy solved it. All right. So here it says that the measure of angle Q is 60 degrees and QR is 2 root 3. Okay, so it looks like the side I'm trying to find now is the hypotenuse side. That's the one they labeled as an X. And again, I just want us to put a question mark there because our little key that you have taken notes on, okay, whenever this is 60 degrees and this one must be 30, the one across from the 30 is our X, the hypotenuse is 2X, 
and the other leg is x times root 3 for this special right triangle. Now we know that this is a 30, 60, 90 because once again we have a 90 degree and a 60 degrees which adds up to 150 degrees. Subtract those from 180, all we're left with is 30 degrees. It's really good to know that the angles inside of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so now here, I'm gonna go through my steps, label the side across from the 30 degrees as your x. So in this case, x equals two root three. All right, we don't need to worry about this side, right? We're not trying to find that side. It's asking us how long is PQ? PQ is this green side here, it's our hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse is always labeled as 2x. Now the good thing here is we know what x is. We know x is 2 root 3. So here we have this is equal to 2 times 2 root 3. So in this case, we can only multiply the 2 times 2. We cannot multiply the 2 and the root 3 because the 2, the green 2, is not in a radical sign. So this is equal to 4 root 3. And that is what our side length PQ will equal. Okay, so let me hide the scratch pad and make sure that our answer is here. Okay. Yeah, there it is. All right. First, I was like, wait a minute, where's it at? It is answer choice D. So pause the video. Okay. This is where we were at. Pause the video if you need to to get the rest of this down. These have been pretty nice, to be honest, because they give you the X right away. So let's see now if it makes it a little bit. Yeah, this one's going to be a little bit more difficult. So here we have a 45, 45, 90 degree angle. So the way we know that is we know all the triangles add up to 180 degrees, or all the angles inside of a triangle. Here we have a 45 so we can subtract that. This will leave us with 135 degrees. Here we have a 90 degree right angle, so let's go and subtract that. That will leave us with 45 degrees. So 45 plus 45 is 90, plus 90 is 180. So these types of triangles have a special ratio that help us find the missing sides without having to do too much work. Okay, so this is the 45, 45, 90. I'll draw it off to the side here. What is also unique about the 45, 45, 90 is that since each of these angles are 45 degrees here and here, the, the sides across from those angles are congruent because those angles make the same length of a side across from them. So those sides will always be the same. So we label them as X. Those are the x in our little formula here for special right triangles. Now, the hypotenuse in these triangles is x root 2, x times root 2. And again, we proved this in class, so make sure that you review your class notes and recording to see why this is the case. Okay, so this one's kind of nice because they actually are using the same variables as in the same in the correct spot. So it has one of the legs labeled as an x. Okay, so I'm going to treat this still the same as the other one. So these two sides here are my legs, and they're always equal. So this guy is a question mark, and we know we always label them as X's. Okay, this is the side we're trying to find is BC. How long is BC? So I don't really need to worry about this side, but just know that that side is an X. Okay, and we know the hypotenuse is X root 2 and this is equal to 12. We need to solve for x, okay? That's what we need. Otherwise, we cannot find our length bc. So we have to solve for x. So we know that x root two equals 12. All right, so this is where we're gonna have to rationalize the denominator pretty soon here. If we divide both sides by root two to get the x by itself, we successfully do that but now we have this irrational setup here where we have a radical in the denominator. So this is what we have to call ra rationalize the denominator. So we multiply the top and the bottom by that root. Root two over root two is technically just a big one, right? It's just a big one. So this is legal, we can totally do this, okay? So here now, 
whenever you multiply that out, um, I'm going to have to move over here. It's not really letting me do this, but I'll do it really small right here. So x equals the top would be 12 times root 2. And the bottom, root 2 times root 2, is the square root of 4. Okay, so now I'm going to just kind of move it over here. <laughs> so we have x equals 12 root 2 over root 4. Well, the square root of 4 is 2. So now we have 12 root 2 over 2, because the square root of 4 is just equal to 2. Now we can also simplify. 12 divided by 2 is 6. So now we know x equals 6 root 2. And again, this is called rationalizing. So rationalize denominator. Whenever we have a radical in the bottom, denominator. Okay, so it looks like C is our answer. So make sure that you pause right now to take down these notes. I'm going to move on. All right, let's hope this one's a 45. Oh, it's another 36, 90. I really want to do another 45, 45, 90. So I'll do this one as well and hope that the next one is a 45, 45, 90. So I'm probably going to go through this one relatively quickly. Um, so let's see here. So we have a 30, 60, 90 here, it looks like. So I know I have that 90 degree angle and then I have a 30 degree angle. So the other one must be a 60 degree angle. So I just always set mine up like this just so I remind myself what all the side lengths are in this triangle here. And this one is x times root 3, okay? So looking here, it's a little bit flipped if you notice. So still, the same thing stands where you want to draw an arrow across from the 30 degrees and write that as x. And again, over here, this is my hypotenuse because it is across from my right angle. And instead of that being x, because that might get a little confusing with our formula and ratios for solving right triangles, I'm going to put a question mark over that x. That's the side we're solving for. Okay? So this side is equal to 2x. So we need to know what x is. And we don't know what this side is. We have no idea. So that side is going to be of no use to us. Okay? But we do know what this side is here, the other leg. And the other leg is equal to x root 3. It's a really tiny 6 there. So we have to solve for x. And if you can see it, how small it is, it's 6 equals x root 3. So they told us that that side length is 6. So again, we have to divide both sides here by that square root to get the x by itself. I'm going to draw my line of equality here. So now this will leave us with 6 over root 3 equals x. Now we have to rationalize this denominator. You can never have a square root sign in the denominator. It is irrational because that is a long decimal and it is not a rational number. Okay, so we have to multiply top and bottom by root 3. That's basically just multiplying it by 1, so it's totally fine. Root 3 times 6, we'll just write as 6 root 3. Root 3 times root 3 here, that is the square root of 9. Square root of 9. So now we can start to simplify. We still have 6 root 3 on top. The square root of 9 is 3. Okay, that's nice. It's a perfect square. This equals x. And then if you see here, 6 divided by 3 is a 2. That equals x. 2 root 3 equals x. However, do not let that fool you. We just solve for x, but we're still trying to find what 2x equals, okay? So now that we know x, 2x is 2 times whatever x is. We got 2 root 3 for x. So our final answer is going to be whatever 2 times 2 root 3 is. This is 4 root 3. So the purpose of all of this was just to fill in the blanks in the rest of my triangle. So I know that the blue side is 6, my yellow side would be 2 root 3, and my hypotenuse is 4 root 3. So our answer here will be B. Okay.
There we go. All right, so let's hope this is a, okay, it's not. So we're gonna go ahead and call it good there. Um, I'm hoping that those first four problems will help you out. My goal was to do four problems. Now the special right triangles are a lot simpler than 30, 60, 90. So I think that's why I'm seeing all these 30, 60, 90. But hopefully this helped you out. I'll just label a few things here because I feel bad showing you this problem and then not doing it. This one would be 30. So this side is your X. So it's kind of nice because they already have X there. And then this side here, the hypotenuse is 2x. And then the other leg is always equal to x times root 3. So if you were to divide both sides by root 3 here, okay, this one's really nice. 4 equals x. This one was super easy, actually. <laughs> I'll keep on going. Let me just forget about that whole speech I just gave you. So this one is four, that side length is four. So if that went too fast, slow down and try it out yourself. Go back to where it was blank and do it yourself so you can actually like understand why it worked. So this one is four. Okay, here's my 45, 45, 90 I really wanted. So the 45, 45, 90, if you guys remember the triangle, so right triangle, each corner is 45 degrees. These sides are x and x, and this one is x times root 2. Okay, so across from the 45s, this one again, I'm just going to change it to a question mark. We label these as x, so then this side is x, which would also be 7, in that case, because these are both 45 degrees here. And then the hypotenuse is always x times root 2. Well, if I already know that x is 7, then my hypotenuse is 7 times root 2. So it's really plugging in what you know. Okay, so this one would be answer B. All right, so now I'm going to stop there. I hope this helped you. Keep it up. Keep on.